untold trillions have been spent on the smoke and mirrors to hide large objects, bend light, and blur objects to make them imperceptible. The south-facing camera in Sitka, Alaska, shows that same red crater-dotted orb we've seen many times rolling across the sky. Some contrast helps to see that this object is rotating. It cannot be a lens flare of the sun because our sun only rotates once every 27 Earth days. This object is rotating much faster than that. Again, we see the pink reflection of the craft, which we'll be seeing in a couple minutes. It swings across the screen following the celestial object so that everything is in a perfectly straight line. This pink reflection always points to the exact location of the celestial object, as we described on February 17. If we draw a straight line from the pink reflection to the center of NASA's glare equipment, the celestial orb always falls on that line. Here are some close-ups to provide better detail of the cratered surface as this object rolls through the sky. These close-ups make it easier to see how fast this spherical object is rotating. And in the last couple images, you can see how the bright chemtrail clouds cause the contrast not to work so well. This is why I try very hard not to include clouds and glare and sun in the contrast area. The south-facing weather camera in Anchorage, Alaska shows NASA's equipment flashing as it crosses the sky. Now remember that these cameras only take one picture every 10 minutes. This means that there were probably several flashes not captured on the camera. The flashing sun is an everyday occurrence. It's commonly seen in these across the world actually, across the globe. The reason most people don't see it is because we cannot keep looking at the sun continuously in order to see it. It's best seen on video. Notice that the black dot in the center of the glare equipment is not always visible, such as in the